Oh, I love it. Just a wall of rain. Just bam, like that. You see like that left to right going out right here. Pretty rapids. June 5th. Um, it's 1.30 uh, p.m. Central Daylight Time. Got some storms coming down from northwest Wisconsin. Uh, storm right here, severe warn. Hoping for some more development uh, kind of along this line here. Uh, they're all moving southeast. We're gonna head up into Barron County and uh, see what happens from there. It's 2.37 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Uh, we're along Highway 8 up here. Um, moving towards Lady Smith to the east of us here. Uh, this, this cell up here just went severe warned a few minutes ago. Um, so hopefully we can get there in time to intercept it. Uh, we're in Bruce, Wisconsin right now. Right here, uh, we got this line of storms uh, moving in from the north, heading south and southeast. I'll give you a look at what is now kind of a shelf cloud coming in right now. Um, doesn't really look too uh, ominous, um, but we're thinking about either heading to Ladysmith or dropping south here on, on Highway 40. Um, the radar says to go toward Ladysmith, but this stuff is going pretty fast. So stick around and uh, we'll see what happens here. strong straight line winds right here behind the shelf cloud that just moved through uh, the seas of Bruce, Wisconsin and got some tree debris flying through the sky. Pine cones on the road. Heading east on Highway 8 right now. Four thirty p.m. Central Daylight Time here. Um, <clears throat> we're on I ninety four eastbound, just east of Menominee here, and this is not what I'm expecting to run into. Um, looks like a traffic jam here. I don't know what's going on up ahead. Hopefully, it's not an accident. Um, but this is pretty much going to kill the chase for today if we can't get out in time here. So it's almost five o'clock p.m. here. I'm currently punching through this core on this line right here. You can see my white dot there. Uh, just south east of Eau Claire. Uh, all, the, all these cells are still severe worn. Got a lot of lightning, some heavy rain here. Uh, we're going to try to make the best of this and see if we can manage to get out ahead of this a little bit. Looks like we got another. Uh, some sort of traffic jam up here. I think there might be a stalled vehicle on 94 East here. About a couple miles out of Eau Claire. Boy, this is turning into a tough chase. Seems, seems to be the day for vehicles to break down. 5.01 p.m. Traffic is almost at a standstill once again, third time now on uh, 994 eastbound here. I'm not exactly sure what this one's about. Um, yeah. Well, uh, today I think the storms win. Um, they got pretty far out ahead of me. I'll show you the radar here. I'm in Nielsville right now. So, storms got out 
pretty far ahead of me here. Um, it's, it's pretty much as soon as I got into Clark County, they really started booking. So I think for now, I'm gonna enjoy some Hardee's and try to make sense of this day. Using a tornado was located over Hoffman Hills Rick area, or near Menominee, moving southeast at 30 miles per hour. Expected hazards include tornado and ping pong ball size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near. Cool sex around 10.05 p.m. Hell clown around 10.15 p.m. Lake Holly around 10.35 p.m. Altoona around 10.40 p.m. Eau Claire around 10.45 p.m. This includes the following highways. Interstate 94 in Wisconsin between mile markers 47 and 67. Yeah, we're on this storm right now here, um, seeing some interesting lowerings. I don't know if the camera's catching that. Uh, we're about, I'd say about five miles northwest of Menominee right now. Um, we're looking north. There's a lot of lowering scud up there. Um, I don't think the camera's going to pick it up, but it's very, very ominous looking right now to the north. Um, the, the warning that's uh, being issued right now is straight east of me right now. Um, Sounds like it's kind of towards Elk, uh, Elk Mound and that area there. Uh, we did go through the core of that storm earlier, and uh, it wasn't very friendly to us at the time, so I'm not surprised that it went warned. Hello, it's July 21st, uh, 2016, 3.17 p.m. Uh, we're just south of Brackett um, on Highway 53 going south. We got a cluster of strong storms right here moving southeast and uh, I think I'm going to drop down towards Osseo, Wisconsin there at Highway 10 and try to intercept that uh, that strong cell there that's uh, on center screen right there. So uh, hopefully we'll see something pretty cool with this. a.m. Um, July 23rd, 2016. Uh, we got a line of severe storms moving in from the south. I'll show you on the radar. Uh, looks like they're they're moving into pretty much western Wisconsin here. I don't know how they're kicking off warnings, but uh, apparently there might be might be some wind strong severe winds that are affiliated with this line so we're going to head to Baldwin, Wisconsin here and check it out from there. Uh, it's 10.54 a.m. Um, looking south here at this line that's moving in and it's still severe worn uh, but it, structurally it doesn't it looks like crap so I'm not sure why that, that, why that warning was even issued in the first place. Uh, we're going to still stop in Baldwin here and Kind of take a look at it from there. All right, it's 11 o'clock a.m. Uh, we're in Baltimore, Wisconsin, just off I-94 here, and uh, we're looking east and southeast right now, um, panning into the west right now. Like, we just got that shelf cloud feature right on top of us right now. The winds are coming out of the southeast right now, and they're pretty strong. Uh, I've seen a few strikes of lightning back in there, but I'm not really expecting significant out of this line but we're gonna see in a few minutes here just what this has in store for us.
Here we are, the leading edge of the shelf cloud right here. It's not too bad looking. Wind's starting to pick up a little bit. 